All right, Bowman Chrome, hobby case. All-star stuff. I don't know what to do for all-star bounty. I got nothing. Futures game relics. Uh, there's your teams. The combos, Brewers, Giants, Rangers, Mariners. Cool cowbell. Circus horn. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> oh, God. <laughs> I envy the breakers that can have a camera on their face the whole time. Like anyone would want to see that. Like they, th I don't yeah. understand that. Not only that anyone else would want to see it, but that you would be like, th imagine the, I don't know, no. confidence or yeah, that's something. Yeah, I mean. I can't. <laughs> Not like I'm a disgusting looking person, but I still like I couldn't imagine my face being on screen the entire time. Ugh, who would want to look at that? I don't get it. Oh yeah, like a lucha mask. All right, that might be interesting. Oh, finally, The Rock got a movie. This is Hobbs and Shaw. Oh, okay. Is that like something that? That's the Fast and Furious spinoff. Oh, good. I already bought an advanced ticket. <laughs> oh, wow. Justin Williams to four ninety nine. Oh yeah, I didn't talk about my son's Little League uh, World Series experience. Wow, what a what a weekend. And tuna to ninety nine, green shimmer. In case you didn't know, youth sports is the worst thing of all time. It's terrible. Everyone it should just be disbanded, the whole thing. It's the worst of people on display. Everything you would imagine. And I'm not just saying that because my kids aren't great at sports. Maybe it would be different, I don't know. Blue Medina to 150 for the Yankees is the first autograph. AJ. There was a team, okay. This is six year olds, six under. Try to imagine a six year old. They can't even do anything. Matt Chapman blue. At the six under level, here anyway. They pitch to them with a pitching machine. It's like a thing you pull back and there's a little lever and it just flings the ball at them. So no, kids aren't pitching to other kids is the point. It's a pitching machine that the coach operates. The parents from the teams would cheer when a kid would miss the ball from the pitching machine and get a strike. The opposing team, the opposing parents would cheer. When six-year-olds miss a pitch from a pitching machine. God. <clears throat> yeah. And if they struck out, then it's like high fives and... That's how bad it is. That just... Uh, all I have to say is that... Then you can imagine how bad it is. Extrapolate from there the rest yeah, of it. Yeah, exactly. I couldn't put together the right words. Brendan Little. Big grab your Cubs. I don't know who's worse. The parents or the coaches are like... The coaches are screaming and yelling, let's go, and like yelling at the kids when they don't do everything perfectly. Every I need a line drive here, buddy. I need you to hit a line drive. Like, oh, really? I, 
He probably went up there thinking he should strike out. Thanks, yeah. coach. God. Freaking coaches. I really need you to get a hit here. And do our purple rookie. No one got thrown out, thankfully. I was surprised there weren't any, like, like the ref, the umps made some, like, questionable calls, but it didn't, like, the coaches were kind of annoyed or whatever. They would go, actually, they'd go talk to the, politely talk to them and say, like, I think you missed that, whatever, but it never got any. Oh, I know, I'm sure it just gets worse. Maybe it was always like that, but I thought when we played it was a little more fun. Well, yeah, not when kids are sick, I don't think it's always yeah. like that. I mean, yeah, if you're like in high school and a guy throws a strike and the kid misses it, you can cheer and let yeah. you hear that team. That's fine. It's just like a pitching machine. You're cheering for the pitching machine to strike out a six-year-old. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> or do go. Gold Ortiz to 50. A. Miller. <laughs> yeah, Pitching Machine was named MVP of the six-year-old. Wow, Arenado made a mistake. Not really an error, I don't think. But Didn't make an amazing play. Shane Baz. Purple Shimmer. Acuna Rookie. Got it in his glove. <clears throat> yeah, thankfully my kids are not going to be good enough to play in high school anyway, so I don't have to worry about it. Labor Torres peaks of potential. <laughs> yeah. And Jake Rogers purple. That sounds like an onion headline. Shark Sitch. Let's see, where do we get on definitive? 14 could happen. Yeah, so, yeah, here's the story of my son at the thing. So, yeah, he went two for two in his first game. And he did okay in the, he plays outfield like every other inning. He's like the worst player. The other kids are just really good. Like, he's fine. It's just the other team is like, they, they develop these kids from like, three years old to six years old so they're all they know everything and they can make every play they're so good my son hasn't really been taking it seriously for very long Nelson Cruz and Evan Steele purples but then uh, I think the second game he went two for two as well so he was perfect four for four and he made some good plays in the outfield did everything and the third game the, it wasn't the championship but the last game he just Oh, that's a Madrasario photo variation rookie. It's true. Third game, he just decided he wasn't going to be... He wasn't going to show up. Yeah, it was weird. I don't know if he was just done with the whole weekend or... He struck out the first at bat, which I, he never does. He at least gets like a little dribbler ball or something. So the pitching machine claimed another... I got another K. Oh, the AL. The AL always wins, huh? Uh, they for a lot of years in a row they were. Labor. And then uh, the second at bat, he. Oh, I didn't even tell you this. So it was a pretty close game. Chiang the Indians. Shark Sitch. Second at bat, he hits a ground ball. Like up the middle, kind of, and he's running to first, and the guy picks it up and throws to first, and like it would, he would have been safe if he just Kept ran. Him. He just like stops before first base and like reaches his leg out to touch first base for no reason, because the kid, I think the kid on first was like in the way, maybe. Mm -hmm. Dalton Varsho to four ninety nine. And uh, 
the coach is like, you got to run through first, you know, like the first thing that they teach you when you start baseball is like you run through first base. That's when I knew it was going to be a long day. Yeah. Because I was like, why did he do that? He, he knows better than that. And then he got up again, got a hit. Yeah, that's how a six-year-old should be. And tuna chew. But he, uh, this team is just like, all these kids just know how to play. It's amazing. So his third at bat, he gets to first. It's the like bottom of the fifth inning, the last inning, and they're tied. <clears throat> the next kid hits a pop-up to first base, and my son just runs to second base. Oh, yeah. And the guy catches it, and they have this dumb rule where, like, you you have to, like, lift your arms over your head to say, like, they'll stop play. Because the kids just keep running. Yeah. And so the rule is, like, as soon as a kid puts his in an infielder puts his he hands up, then the, it's a dead ball. So all these kids are trying to, like, get used to that rule and do it all the time. So Lucas Sims, Frankie Yankee. So that kid that caught the fly ball, like, instinctively did that. And so it was a dead ball. Otherwise, my son would have been doubled up at oh, first. Yeah. So he got bailed out by that. And I was at his practice before this tournament, and they worked on that for like a half hour. They were like, mm -hmm. okay, stay on first. If it's a fly ball, then you know, take a two- or three-step lead and watch it. If it's ground ball, then run. He just didn't do that. Then he, the next kid got a hit, and so my son got to second. So he's the winning run at second base. I think there's like there's two outs at that point. Oh, Nick Williams, orange rookie for the Phillies. See Rossi. The next kid hits a ground ball to shortstop or third, what something on the left side. And the head coach of my son's team is that you know the third base coach. And he's just yelling at my son, like, go back to second, go back to second, because he's, you know, they're just going to tag mm -hmm. him. And he just completely ignores him. And they don't tag him, but they throw to third. And my son just, like, walks into the tag. Like, if he slid, because it was kind of a higher throw, if he slid, there's no way the kid could have, like, reached down and tagged yeah. him. Because it wasn't a force. I think there was Nobody no on one first. on first or something. I can't remember. Um, and so he gets tagged out, and then that was the the end of the inning they ended up winning in the next inning they like held them to one run and then they scored two so Otani rookie so he just like didn't do anything that he's supposed to do that whole game it was so embarrassing yeah because I'm just thinking like all the other parents are like oh who's this <laughs> who are these kids idiot parents that don't spend 40 hours a day teaching this six year old every rule of baseball so that he could win the right six and under California, Northern California World Series. Nikki Lopez, Wobus. I think it was also that game when he was supposed to be in the outfield because he switches off. He decided he had to go to the bathroom and just left oh, really? and missed his inning in the outfield. And I was like, what? <laughs> it's like, could you just go to the bathroom when you're on the bench? Like the yeah, inning the before innings, yeah. or Jordan Hicks refractor, Nick Allen Green. He just was a six-year-old on Sunday, or Saturday, or whatever day that was. So. You know, like, on the drive home, I'm like, I'm not going to yell at him. Like, what? Yeah. I can't believe you're six years old, you idiot. Freddie Peralta to 655. Yeah, like, think about every other aspect of his life. Six-year-olds, yeah. like, still pee their pants. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, like, how are you... Yeah, it's weird. It's like, it's hard because we're there. Like, I took a whole weekend to go to this tournament, and I want to see my son do well. Yeah. So, it's like, if I didn't care at all, then we wouldn't even do it. Kyle Cody refractor. T dog. Yeah, then you're like, so. Marte. Oh, off the wall. Should I be spending three hours a day drilling my son to play six year old baseball? 
should I not do it and not worry about when he's the worst player on the team and the other the other parents and coaches are mad that he's on the team and the worst player on the team? Like, I don't know. Yeah, but the, like, I don't know. This doesn't seem like any performance of any kind of six is any indication of what kind of a yeah. player he could be or whatever. No, yeah. He wants to. Except for these other kids are amazing. Like, so I guess yeah. he's behind them. Yeah, and then they're going to be 10 years old and begging their dad not to play baseball anymore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cole Brandon and Miguel Cabrera Purples. I think we've decided that our kids will play like the the rec, regular season rec league type thing and then just not do all-stars. Yeah. Unless they're just so Unless good. They're, yeah. But I think I said the reason we had him do All Stars is because his six year old regular season team was like half the kids weren't even they were like looking at butterflies, yeah. and couldn't catch a ball, couldn't throw a ball. So it was like he could catch and throw. And I was thinking like it would be fun for him to play with other kids that could also kind of play. But these kids were like on a totally different level above that. So he was the kid who like couldn't really do much. So I don't know, it's weird. Oh, you mean our franchise being disabled? Anyway, sorry, that was my baseball update. We did get to stay in lovely Monterey, California, where it was... Oh, Lolo. Tim, Lolo Sanchez. It was 60, 60 to 65 degrees. Man, it was nice. Monterey is really nice. Oh, the Astros have the entire outfield. Brian Mundell to four ninety nine. Yeah, we didn't get to go to the aquarium because it was Fourth of July weekend and the games were always at like noon, and so you couldn't really go before, couldn't really go after, and uh, it was so crowded for the Fourth of July weekend. It was insane. There was no parking anywhere. Yeah, we did want to go to the. We went to a lighthouse, Russell Wilson. We went to like the oldest lighthouse on the west coast and did a little tour and that was cool. Acuna. Was that a... Hmm? You got Shimmer or something? Did I just catch that wrong? What, the Acuna? Yeah. The... I don't think there's numbered no. ones of those. Yeah, that's weird. Joe Adele. Dalton Varsho for the Diamondbacks. Big Todd. Oh, Yelich is up. Barrios looks nasty so far. Oh, one thing that was kind of cool... Uh, Yeah, there's these like tops, um, top of the class packs that they gave me. The tops gave me. They're not. There's no autographs or anything. Did you guys see those? They're supposed to be like kids come to the shop and bring their report card, and then you give them a pack of this. Like, it's just like a bunch of star. You know, it's like Trout and Acuna and all that. And uh, I had like a hundred packs of that, so I brought them to the. There was a pizza party like the night before the last game. Hi, Maria. Chew. And I gave each of the kids on the team like five packs and they were totally into it. Oh, really? Yeah. They were super excited. They were like trading because some of them are like Giants fans and Dodger fans. They were like trading cards. and It was like actual kids playing with baseball cards. Trading them. And I got my favorite player and all that stuff. It was cool. And the parents were like totally into it. The coaches were like, oh, baseball cards? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Father's Day packs. 15 Father's Day packs? We did breaks with all 30 of those. Was that Father's Day? Yeah, we, we gave them all away. There was a... 
Moncada and Centillion Blue. We gave the other ones away with the Spectra that wouldn't fill. Yeah. Spectra and uh, whatever that other one was. Yeah, they're gone, Harp. We have a David Bote, Arizona Fall League Orange. Bote. Guzman to 655. Labor rookie. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 15 packs per box. And Duhar Blue rookie autograph. AJ. Raise lightning and box. Ah, I get it. I see. Clayton Kershaw refractor. Had a gold auto yet, right? No, actually, we need some color. Yeah, we should, we should be here? getting some color. Alvarez. We have two blues, a purple, and a refractor. Chase Pinder. Nels, your Cardinals. Mike Soraka, rookie. Riley Adams, green. Jacob DeGrom. Tatis. Jay Groom, green shimmer. Colorado, here we go. Redemption. Chrome Prospect. Green Refractor, that's color. Luis Urias. Shark Sitch, your Padres. Should they always be referring to him as LeBron James Jr.? <laughs> yes. LeBron straight up said he wished he hadn't named him LeBron. Oh, really? Right. Yeah. And Duhar Refractor rookie. When he had him when he was like 12, his first kid. How old was he when he had his first kid? Uh, well, he's. His kid is like 14 now, so he's old. So, like one. 20. So, yeah, 20 ish. Darwin's and Hernandez. T Dog. Oh, he 
we got a good one to hit. Hmm. Popped it up. Austin Meadows Refractor. He's an all-star, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Isan Diaz Purple. Wasn't he in the Futures game? I think he was. Could be. He has been before, I think. Oh, please. Oh, really? Rowdy Geronimo. Holy crap. Long time to see. It's like, where's the UFC breaks? De Los Santos to 499 Refractor Auto for the Philly C. Rossi. Tony. <laughs> I know. UFC was crazy on Saturday. That, yeah, that was a wild one. That knockout was ridiculous. And then, yeah, Santos's knee is destroyed. Fowler and Mountcastle. Yeah. ACL, LCL, RCL, TCL. All, every CL in his knee is gone. And meniscus. Nick Senzel, Purple Shimmer. Did you see like the Masvidal interview after? Yeah. When he was like, you know, if you talk like that, like you, you know, my job is to hit him until the referee steps in or something. He goes, and it's not over if I see him at Whole Foods. I'll slap him around again. <laughs> yeah. Colton Welker. I thought Santos may have won. I thought he won rounds one, two, and five, but it was really close. Peak of potential autograph. Glaber Torres, cool. Wow. AJ, nice one. Yeah, Rockwell got ruined. I don't remember getting many of those. No, never. Glaber. <clears throat> I don't know what's wrong with Rockwell. He just doesn't have it. Dozier purple. Yeah, they were saying from that UFC, like, several people should or maybe will retire. Like, Oh, because they just have had too much now? Rockhold should retire. Diego Sanchez should retire, but he won't. Holly Holm probably should retire. She, she can't probably get a championship again. She just got knocked out pretty badly, and she's a little older. Askren, they're saying Askren could retire because he was undefeated and retired and then came to UFC, but I don't think he's going to retire. Acuna Fall League Atomic to 150, that's nice. Cranky Yankee. I know. I, it's weird, like Austin Allen, Shark Sitch. The two Ben Askren fights in UFC, like either both of them, I both of them were amazing and super memorable. But both of them, I wanted to just see him actually fight a UFC fighter. Like they're both weird, controversial. Like you know, like oh yeah, Gilbert Melendez. I just, that knockout, I was like, okay, that was cool. But, like, I wanted to just see him fight Masvidal for three rounds. I wanted yeah. to see what would happen. <clears throat> it's frustrating. It's like the McGregor and Aldo fight where, like, yeah. they, like, square up and McGregor just knocked him out immediately. And... Hey, Tim, what's up? 
We got some pretty cool things, Otani, out of uh, triple threads. Yeah, including one total monster. Mm -hmm. Mundell. That was a better than average master case. Yeah, that was triple good. threads. So. Uh, Rasp is working all the time. He he comes in every once in a while, but he's usually working. Willie Abreu, Green Shimmer. Hunt Dog. Yeah, he's in Sweden. Carlos Correa Green. One nothing in the fourth. Need some runs in this game. Oh, Ballinger's up. Got him. Dang. Thought it was going to be inside or something. That's a spot where he can turn and blast it usually. Yeah, it's a changeup. Kind of a weird pitch. A high changeup. Sheldon Noisy for the A's. Tim. How are the Dodgers doing? Oh, I don't know. Best record in baseball. Unbeatable for sure. World Series champion. No chance they're going to go to the World Series and lose this year again. Yeah, they're doing well. I'm just not. I can't do it this year. <clears throat> I'll just wait till whenever they're they're up like three games to nothing in the World Series. Maybe I'll start watching, but I can't do it. T dog. The last two years took several years off my life. Can't go through it again. Logan Shore to fifty. I've had to in the past listen to the game, like lie in bed, like facing the wall, and just listen to it on my phone. Yeah. I can't even watch. It's so. That would be even more nerve wracking for me. No, like I, I said, what I'll do is I'll change the channel for two minutes and then go back oh, and then change the channel and then it, go back and then I can't handle it. it. Drives me insane. Baseball is so. Walker Bueller rookie. It's just so maddeningly slow. Yeah. <laughs> Basketball folk. Lamonte Wade for the Twins. Tim. Man, we need some color. Mookie Betts, Matt Manning. <laughs> yeah. You mean try being a Mets fan this like decade? Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's worse. But is it worse than losing in the World Series two years in a row? I don't know. It's like you're right there. I'm gonna talk to Red Raider about that. The, yeah. the Rangers went to the World Series in the last few years ago. And they haven't won a World Series in 30 years. When's the last Mets World Series win? 1986. Oh, yeah. I think. Brian Hernandez. They played against the Yankees in the Subway Series. So, yeah, you're just two years longer than the Dodgers. I 
can watch a regular season Dodger game where they blow the save. It's not a big deal. Yeah. I mean, the Mets Especially still, like, now that they're like 30 games over. Yeah, that's true. Whatever. Yeah, it'd probably be different if they were like just trying to keep up with the like The Brewers grades. are like sputtering along there. The Brewers and Cubs are tied for first place and they're both like four games over 500. Garcia to four ninety nine. Oh yeah, Shea is on. My yeah. boy is on Oklahoma City. Now. But I went through the years of the Dodgers just not being good. Like before the new owners bought the team, they were just pretty average. That was fine. Tyler yeah. Freeman. That didn't stress me out too much. Like, oh, the Dodgers are average. Or whatever. Hope they beat the Giants. How many years in a row have they won the division now? Five or something? Yeah, I don't know. I'm saying the worst is when it's like either World Series win or disappointment. Like there's no, I can't be happy with a season. Yeah. Kings are much easier to root for because maybe they'll get 30 wins this year or whatever. 35 wins. 40 wins. I know they're not winning anything. Lolo Sanchez Refractor Auto. It's two Lolos. He's hard to get. We got two of them. Yeah, at least they won one of those UCCF. Archer and Hura purple. Oh, really? 88. Awesome. I remember the 88 World Series barely. I remember the Kirk Gibson thing, and my uncle was an A's fan, or is an A's fan, and he called my dad, like, right after the game. Oh, really? Mm hmm And my dad video, you know, recorded all the games, and I, I used to watch them every few years on the VHS. Oh, really? Hershiser and stuff, yeah. Acuna rookie last pack of the break. It is Kyle Young. Let's see Rossi. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. Oh, you have it on VHS? Awesome. Well, we had a green Urias, green Shimmer Abreu. No gold, dang. And Duhart blue, Medina blue, Rogers purple, Lolo Sanchez refractor. We have those Santos Cody refractors. Then Kyle Young, Hernandez, Wade, Noisy, Allen, Hernandez, Pinder, Barria, Varsho, Lolo. Nicky Lopez, Lucas Sims, Shang, Albertos, Little, and a Glaber Torres pizza potential on That was a weird case. Yeah. It's like it didn't have any of the good big name guys, but then like we never have hit one of those, I don't think ever. Yeah. I Lolo Sanchez is like one out of a hundred cases and we got two of them. This must be one of those like lost one of those cases that's like all the stuff you normally don't get. Reggie hitting three home runs against the Dodgers. Yeah, 77 was the year that Reggie hit all those home runs. On the Yankees, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, Nick Williams, orange. A couple of golds. Little Nick Allen. And Tuna Green Shimmer. purple well the thing about the Bobby Bonilla isn't it that it's actually really good for them like it's yeah it, like I read something they were like every team would do this with every player like if they could or something like are they not allowed to do that anymore I don't know 
But it did like ease tension on the salary cap at the time, yeah. but, or the luxury tax at the time, or something. Here's the hot rookies: Rosario, uh, photo variation, Acuna Fall League Atomic, and the Bodie Fall League Orange. Yeah, Dennis Miller wasn't that bad. <clears throat> I didn't mind him. I barely remember it though. Yeah, I 